So I had no idea this. <clears throat> Anybody outside of like a Klan member or a neo-Nazi would say anything like this, and I hear it coming from like BBC people. They're talking about people who want armed resistance in Ireland, and the British actually have the gall to respond, well, doesn't that show you that it's not working? Yeah, it's the occupation that's not working, but doesn't... Like, this is the crazy thing. People say, oh, not everybody's for the IRA today. That might be true, but the English tried to paint it like that back in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s, and that kind of wasn't the case in, like, 68 to at least 80. And they've always dealt with the people as criminals and not freedom fighters. I think that's the that's the greatest. I mean, the IRA, they were trying to obey the Geneva Conventions for so long to get recognized. And, uh, I mean, the British even wonder about why would they set off bombs in England if they were fight. It's because anybody who's even giving, I mean, I shouldn't even have to explain this. Like, oh my God, like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, uh... The only reason the IRA ever came into existence is because Protestants in the North were basically going around almost daily, like, beating up Catholics, attacking them, attacking the women. And these were the, these were police. These were like, uh, what was it, B specials? They had like three different types of police. So like every, every, every uh, Protestant in the North was like an armed fanatic, basically. Like, girls would just scream at the soldiers. The soldiers would beat with clubs. They'd just attack people. Even for peaceful protests, just attack, 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 attack. And it's through British brutality that the IRA is formed. So now the British have to leave. Even if there's no more um, bloodshed, just, I mean, even if, the, if you're British and you have a conscience, what about Bobby Sands and all those people? Do you think they're criminals? Where do you go from, I mean, obviously Bobby Sands and all those people were freedom fighters and anybody who says otherwise you must be just you're not part of the conversation you are not a human basically you're that's not that's just evil and that has to be expelled from any any dialogue i mean i can't even maybe it's because chicago is so catholic but uh no that's not even a view that that's that's evil so where do the freedom fighters die off and the criminals begin? Because they weren't all criminals. And as soon as a British person or Protestant says they are, then they're, I, I don't get it. But um, people think, oh, it's Catholic. Oh, well, why is it Protestant? Because that's how the Protestants started out. And they're still like that. They're still crazy loyalists in the North. That's how they picked the fight. It didn't really matter if you believed in a god or not, if you were atheist. That's your identity. There's the Irish, Celtic, Catholic race, and then there's the Anglos who are Protestant. I mean, it's a different ethnicity, different group. Go home. Go live great, prosperous, good lives in England. Go back to where you should be. I, I just don't get it. I mean, do people actually think this way in England? Like, 